This behemoth of a bull elephant is seen by some as the gatekeeper of the Akagera National Park on the eastern border of Rwanda. Control of the park was assumed by the Africa Parks Network in 2010, and a 20-year agreement was signed with the aim to restore, develop and manage the park. It was reduced by more than half following the genocide in Rwanda in 1994, where after many locals returned and were desperately in need of land. Despite this, the park has gone from strength to strength over the last few years. It even now has a small lion population that came from South Africa. Their lions were killed due to clashes between the big cats and people living next to the park. Guide Innocent Ndanjimana took us on a tour of the park, explaining not only the importance of conservation, but also the history of the park's most well-known senior citizen. He explained how Mutware, which means chief, was brought into the park in the late 1970s and how he was loved by all. Normally among the people who came here in Akari National Park to visit uh, this elephant, uh, also the children came here in Akagira National Park and then they tried to visit to visit uh, that elephant and when they reached uh, they reached uh, near the the place where Mutwale was uh, was uh, was uh, as uh, domesticated normally those uh, children they they asked that elephant to give uh, to give them the lift and uh, they said oh Mutwale give us lift Mutwale give us lift and Mutwale using the trunk uh, uh, the, uh, he brought the, the, he he put them on the back of it, and then when they said, Mutwari, we want to go down, we want to go, to go down, Mutwari used, uh, using the, tr the trunk or so, yeah, he, he, made the, he, made, he put them out, down without any complication. Sadly, this once friendly giant has not been accepted by the other elephants, living a mostly solitary life. Following the genocide, his relationship with humans also soured. The other elephant, they didn't accept that elephant like uh, colleague or friend. They they decided to hate that elephant. And after seeing that elephant, normally it has no friend uh, as the other elephant. The people decided to keep that elephant as a friend. It was just like semi-domesticated. The reason why the people, every every people came in Akagira National Park to try to see that elephant, bringing sugar cane, bringing bread, bringing everything, uh, including banana. And um, after that, elephant became friend of people. The problem is this: after genocide, uh, I mean during genocide, some people uh, saw that uh, there is no security. They tried to come in Akagera National Park, trying to kill that elephant to recuperate the tusks. And unfortunately, they didn't achieve their mission. They failed, and the Mutwar elephant saw that there is no friendship between people and elephant, and he decided to revenge himself. I mean, to protect because the people when when is uh, when they are seeing that elephant uh, trying to attack the car, they are thinking that is revenging, but is protection because he saw that the people or human being is not good. Now the chief might still not be very trusting of the people in Rwanda. But characters like him do wonders for the country's tourism, which plows directly back into local communities. Therefore, the land of a thousand hills has gone to great lengths to keep animals like him safe for future generations.